Trump signs bill to end longest government shutdown in the U.S. history as President Donald Trump signed a bill on Friday night to reopen the government for three weeks until February 15, ending the longest government shutdown in the nation's history. The 35-day-long shutdown was called off by the leader without getting the $5 billion he had demanded from Congress for a border wall. The negotiation for the money will continue. It will have very limited ties with China. More with India. Maldives during her recent trip to India. Maldivian Defense Minister Maria Ahmed Didi said the island nation will have very limited ties with China in the defense sector and engage more with India. Both the Indian and Maldivian government shared the same values. She added, the people of the Maldives want stronger ties with democratic countries like India. She further said, Sikhs in U.S. to donate food funds to federal workers amid shutdown to Sikh groups in the U.S. will donate gift grocery cards and food to Transportation Security Administration, TSA, workers at the Indianapolis airport as they continue to be unpaid amid the ongoing partial U.S. government shutdown. Sikh groups in other states in the U.S. are also offering free meals to those affected by their shutdown through community kitchens. The remains of explorer who named Australia discovered in London archaeologists have found the remains of British explorer Captain Matthew Flinders, who is credited with naming Australia near a railway station in London. Captain Flinders led the first circumnavigation of Australia. The discovery of his burial site was made as archaeologists were preparing the site where a railway station will be built. 45,000 security personnel killed in Afghanistan in past five years Afghan President Ashraf Ghani has said. Over 45,000 members of the country's security forces have been killed since he assumed office in 2014. We need to get a stable Afghanistan that can ensure the security of our democratic rights and institutions, he added. His statement comes amid the talks between the U.S. and Taliban to end the war in Afghanistan.